the shelter and I see this, and I'm like, hmm. But well, it doesn't say police scene, stay out. Yes, they're doing remodeling. Now this is what you call a fire pit. Look at the size of this thing. It's like the size of a small hot tub, a large hot tub. Really nice spaces in here for camping. Right here, there, and then not even a tenth of the way before the shelter. There's another site. Little spot there. And then behind the shelter, there is a nice big picnic table. So there's the shelter. There's a picnic table. There's the crime scene. I mean the remodeling. And then there's another one down here. The picnic table. Big open spot, and I see, oh, the privy's over there. Here we have the privy at the Morgan Stewart shelter. As you can see, we have steps that lead up to this road. Very nice shelter. It's actually a moldering, uh, not shelter, privy, it's a moldering privy. This shelter is very diva. It even has its own hot tub. You just start the fire and then fill the rest up with water. And there you go. The diva shelter, which I'm now calling this, is built in bear protection. North to me. I mean to Maine. That's the trail. I see a white blaze there. And then another white blaze further up. Lauren, I keep seeing little shreds of wood that are tinted green and I couldn't figure out where they were coming from. And now here is a branch the green center. There's some more. What is it from? I see fields of green, clouds of white, earth was a day long stormy night and I think to myself, what a wonderful world. Next contestant for American Idol. <laughs> Forgot part of the song. On the railroad tracks, we are exempt from yielding. Those are intrusive thoughts and we don't say them out loud. rocks. Not necessarily hiking on them, but I like looking at them. Rocks, trail. Rocks, trail. How hard can it be? What number deli blazing is this? Six. So there's six. So first we had the Appalachian Deli. Market. Or market which was supper and we packed out lunch, uh -huh. that's two. And then we had the pizza, uh -huh. which is three. And then we had breakfast this morning, uh -huh. which is four. And then this is five. Aren't you a math teacher? Um, I don't care to that much. This is an Appalachian Trail roundabout. Round and round the tree and there's a trail on both sides of said tree. So which is the real trail? But I did both of them. So 
I got them. between a rock and hard spit place. Wait, is that what it's called? Yeah. I am between a rock and a hard place. That's not it. You're at Nuclear Lake. There is no camping and no fires here and also not recommended to drink the water. This is the kind of trail that Grandma Gatewood was expecting when she read in an article that the trail was wide enough for a truck and flat. We finally found a blaze. We had to check far out to make sure we weren't off trail because we're not used to it being this nice. drinking on the rocks. Do you even know what that means? Yes, drinking while you're on the rocks. <laughs> That's with alcohol and not juice. Here's a tip for backpacking to always bring something to help you sleep at night. You don't even drink alcohol. It's juice. You're ruining my street cred. I curse you, AT. Look at that perfectly groomed path down there. And look where the AT is taking us. Right down the rocks. Of course I'm a hiker. I'm willing to break my ankle on these things. Oh, no, wait. not again. We're not doing that again. I'm a hiker. Of course I'm going to break my ankle on these rocks. Not all hikers do that. Really? No, it's just sure. you. Oh, okay. Hey, Tornado, guess what I see? What? The trail that you wanted to come down, it went right across those rocks. That's crap. Crap. <laughs> <laughs>